Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for saving me and giving me this opportunity to share this gospel. Allow me to share it with a humble attitude and please fill me with the Holy Spirit. Also, let me relay this gospel not by knowledge, but by the grace of the cross. If there are unbelievers, I pray that they will accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. If there are any sick people, I pray that they will be healed. If there are any people with problems, I pray that their problems will be solved when they hear this gospel message. If there are any believers, I pray that they will realize their mission to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth and become evangelists. I pray in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. In this world, there is a creator God who created the entire universe, all things in heaven and earth and man. God gave three blessings to the original man. The first blessing is that God created man in his own image as a spiritual being. The biggest difference between man and animals is that only man has a spirit. The second blessing is that God gave man the authority to subdue and rule over the earth. God gave only man the authority to subdue and rule over the earth. The third blessing is that God allowed man to enjoy all the things that he had made. This is the principle of God's creation. When God created birds, he gave them wings. The birds with wings are the happiest when they are flying up in the sky. When God created trees, he gave them roots. The trees with roots are the happiest when they are deeply rooted in the ground. When God created fish, he gave them fins. The fish with fins are the happiest when they are swimming in the water. With this principle, when God created man, God gave only man a spirit. Then when is man with a spirit the happiest? It's when he's with God. Birds have not left the sky. Trees have not left the ground, and fish have not left the water. But only man separated from God. As a result, man lives with six kinds of problems and eventually falls into destruction. Then why is it that only man was separated from God? It's because man committed sin. Why did man commit sin against God? It's because Satan, the devil, tempted man. Because man was deceived by Satan, he committed sin. By committing sin, he was separated from God. As a result of man's separation from God, these six problems started. So what kind of of problems are there when man is separated from God. First, there are spiritual problems. Since people were separated from God, they worship idols, search for fortune tellers, or physics reading, and practice religions. Who are our true parents? Those who gave birth to our physical bodies are our true parents. Then who is our true God? The one who created our spirits is our true God. 
God created your spirit. That is why God is the true God. Second, there are mental problems. People suffer from anxiety, stress, insomnia, nightmare, night terror, and depression. They feel empty, want to commit suicide, hear audio hallucinations, and some families have mentally ill patients. Third, there are physical problems. They fall into poverty, accidents, incurable diseases, and fail in their businesses. Also, they are faced with gambling, unemployment, cigarette addiction, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, game addiction, and smartphone addiction. Then when did all these physical problems begin? They began right after when we were separated from God. Fourth, there are family problems. Married couples argue, fight, separate, have affairs, and get a divorce. Then who suffers the most when the parents get a divorce? It's the children. Also, they suffer financially and have no peace at heart. Fifth, there is the afterlife problem. Through the Bible, we can see that everyone has three stages of life. The first stage of life is the nine months in our mother's womb. The second stage of life is the 70 to 80 years that we are living in now. And the third stage of life is the eternal world after we die. In our second stage of life, if we meet God who created our spirits, we will go to heaven. But if we meet false gods, or worship idols, we have no choice but to go to hell. Sixth, there is the problem of inheritance. If you worship idols, it is not only you, but it is also your third and fourth generations that will be cursed. All these six problems began after man separated from God, committed sins, and was deceived by Satan. So, if we don't solve these three fundamental problems, we cannot solve our individual problems and family curses. But, do people know that all these curses and disasters came from these three fundamental problems in Genesis chapter 3. Do they know or not? No, they don't. That's why people try to solve these six problems through science, religion, philosophy, or good works. However, these problems won't be solved, and will grow worse. It's because these six problems originally started after we were separated from God, after we committed sin, and after we were deceived by Satan. Can you meet God on your own? No. Can you wash away all the sins you have committed on your own? No. Can you win over Satan the devil on your own? No. However, there is the most joyful news in the world. So God knew we cannot solve these three fundamental problems on our own. 
God gave us a way to solve these three problems. That way is Christ. Christ is the only way to solve these three fundamental problems. Christ is the solution to all problems. Christ is a title and it represents three titles. The title of the true king, the true priest, and the true prophet. Christ, with these three titles, bled and died on the cross and rose again from the dead after three days. Christ, as the true king, bled and died on the cross and rose again from the dead. Through this, he crushed the head of Satan and gave us freedom. Also, Christ, as the true priest, bled and died on the cross and rose again from the dead. Through this, he washed away all of our original sin and solved all the sins of our past, present, and future. He set us free from all sins and curses. Also, Christ, as a true prophet, bled and died on the cross and rose again from the dead. Through this, he solved the problem of our separation from God and opened the way for us to meet God. You cannot meet God on your own, but if you believe in Christ, you can meet God. Christ is the only way to meet God. In other words, through the death and resurrection of Christ as the true king, the true priest, and the true prophet, Christ solved the six problems that came from the three fundamental problems in Genesis chapter 3 cleanly, completely, and eternally. Then who is this Almighty Christ? Jesus, who came to this earth through the Virgin Mary 2,000 years ago, is the Christ. Please repeat after me. Jesus is the Christ. If you believe that Jesus is the Christ, you will receive salvation. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ will never perish, but receive the seven eternal blessings. Then, what are these seven blessings? First, you will become a child of God who created the universe. Second, God, the Holy Spirit, will enter into your heart and guide you until you go to heaven. Third, if you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you will surely receive answers. Fourth, He will send His angels to protect you 24-7. Fifth, if you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan will be bound. Sixth, your name will be recorded in the Heaven's Book of Life and you will be a citizen of Heaven. Seventh, He will give you the blessing of sharing this gospel to the whole world. God sincerely wants you to receive these seven blessings of eternal life. That's why he sent his one and only beloved son, Jesus, for you. So,
Do you want to remain in the six problems of destruction? Or do you want to receive the seven blessings of eternal life? Revelations 3.20 says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Romans 10.10 says, For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. If you want to believe, repeat after me as I pray. First, believe with your heart and repeat after me as I pray. God, I believe that you are the only true God. I repent that I have lived my life away from God in the way I wanted to. So please forgive me. I believe that Christ bled and died on the cross. Through his resurrection, he crushed the head of Satan, forgave all of my sins, and opened the way to meet God. I believe that only Jesus of Nazareth is the Christ. I open the door of my heart and accept Jesus, who is the Christ, as the Lord of my heart. Come into my heart. Rule over me and guide me. I accept Jesus as my Savior. Also, let me preach this gospel to the unbelievers. I pray in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Now, as you live this life, never forget these seven things. First, you already became a child of God. Second, Jesus has entered into your heart. Third, your name is recorded in the Heaven's Book of Life, and you are a citizen of Heaven. Fourth, starting today, study and work hard to share this gospel. God will undoubtedly bless you. Let's review your new spiritual state. Whose child are you? Child of God. Where is Jesus? In my heart. Where will your spirit go when you leave this world? Heaven. Why do you study? To preach this gospel. Why do you work? To preach this gospel. Fifth, God said, from Monday through Saturday, study and work hard, but on Sunday, you must go to church and worship. Sixth, study the Bible once a week. Do you want to study the Bible? Yes, from Monday through Saturday, which day works the best for you? Monday. What time works the best for you? Five o'clock. Then, can I visit your house with someone at five o'clock on Monday and study the Bible? Seventh. Listen to this gospel message seven times and pick at least five people every year to whom you can share this gospel. This is because there are so many people without the gospel who fail, have their families fall apart, and commit suicide. Now, because you are a child of God, I hope you have a victorious life as you pray continually and read the Bible. God loves you. Boy.
별을 지나 하나님. 